With the recent completion of my new cross bike to a now rideable state, it's left with just one last annoying step. Routing the rear brake hose through the frame. Now, as nice as hydraulic brakes perform, they do sort of become a bit of a nightmare for at-home mechanic work, especially if you don't have the proper tools and all the materials that you're gonna need to make it work. See the way this all attaches? Well, it's far from as simple as a cable with a housing. Once you undo all of this, you've got a barb with a fitting inside the hose with a, uh, uh, with a nut that compresses that barb onto the hose to make sure that it doesn't all pull out. I'm sure there's a really good explanation on how that all works somewhere else. Essentially what that means is the entire assembly on the end of the hose is actually too big to fit through all these access holes. Like, it won't fit through here. Certainly not going to fit through here. The only way to get it to fit is to remove the barb, remove that little fitting, and remove the, the nut, I'm gonna call it. Uh, it's a compression fit on the end of the hose, which means the only way to remove it is to cut the end of the hose off. That way you just have a bare hose, very reminiscent of what a cable housing is like. And then you can run this through and install a new hose end with a new barb. I know better and I'm not going to be able to fumble my way through making the old style stuff work again, but in search of validation for hopelessly Thanks. trying to reuse a hose barb, I fired up Google to start the inquiry into anecdotal instances from other forum users attempting to do the same thing. When this suggested search result came up as I was typing it in. Wait, do people not know they can reuse bar tape? No, no. First of all, to get us going simply to answer the question, yes, yes, absolutely, you can reuse bar tape. As a matter of fact, there's two examples of just that in this shed right now. The crux itself does have old specialized tape on it, which actually was ripped and kind of falling apart. And it's probably gonna hold its own for a little while yet before I decide what bar tape I actually want to put on this. But a better example being the Poseidon. This bar tape is off of my carbon felt. Uh, it's been on like three or four different sets of handlebars now. So yeah, absolutely. Absolutely you can reuse bar tape. And I think that long-winded, elaborate introduction does a fantastic job of segueing into what this Tinker Tuesday is all about. So, during the ever-continuing and ever-evolving great parts swap of 2019, the, uh, the, the Vigorelli was not spared. As you can see, the electrical tape Belgium flagged specialized drop bars are now no longer part of this build. They made their way over to the felt FA fake TT bike and sold off to a new rider. Which I mean, is kind of fine. The only thing that I'm really going to miss is the fact that I was just trying to ride that bar tape uh, to a point that I sort of disintegrated and disappeared. Though sort of getting to that point anyway, because I had broken my collarbone with those bars on and uh, you know, where you hold on to, which is this area most of the time, uh, well, they were wearing through pretty well to the bars. So, so I got the time that I wanted out of them. Besides the reach from here to here on these bars is far more conducive to good brakeless fixed gear riding than those specialized short, short compact bars ever were. It was the proper trade out. Poseidon, you've designed a fantastic brakeless track crit handlebar. They're a little weird on a gravel bike. Obviously though, they are a little bit bare. So yeah, can you reuse bar tape? Yeah, of course, but there's a few things you need to take into consideration first before you attempt to do so. Obviously number one is the condition that your tape is in. This stuff's a little bit dirty and yeah, the end that was stuck in the handlebars is uh, is obviously there. The areas that were at the hood levers, you know, that stuff is still kind of prominent, um, you know. But truthfully, as you stretch this and put it on the handlebars, a lot of this stuff just disappears when you're taking your time and you put the effort 
into making sure everything lays flat. So don't let stuff like this keep you from using bar tape, whether it goes on a different set of handlebars or the same ones that you're using. Really, the only thing that's gonna keep you from being able to reuse a set of handlebar tape is, uh, is if it's just ripped in half. It can even have a bunch of holes in it or it can have little rips in it. And if you're just careful with your reinstallation, then you can just take the precautions to make sure that it doesn't rip fully as you're putting it back on. The real trick to make sure that your bar tape is actually going to be reusable when it's time to do so, is making sure that at the time that you're taking everything off, that you take the care to make sure nothing rips. You'll know pretty quick whether or not you're in a, a bad bar tape removal situation or not. So once you've determined that you've got some workable bar tape to reuse, um, make sure you've got your, your scissors handy and then just your run of the mill electrical tape. I like to use not the cheapest stuff. Now I'm not gonna get into the way to wrap a set of handlebars because that subject is now beat to death on a million different channels who probably do a far better job of explaining it than I ever could. But just know that I like to wrap bars from the end turning to the inside because the end goal is to get the top part of the tape to be rolling this way so that while you're riding, you're not unraveling it with your nervous hands. Always, always hide your cut on the bottom of the handlebars. Bar, bar. First one to comment which bike this handlebar tape came off of gets a high five in person. So one thing that I do think you need to take into consideration if you're going to reuse bar tape is just knowing that it is going to come out thinner on the second and third and fourth time that you put it on than it ever did on the first. After the first installation of bar tape, you really have kind of pulled it to where it's supposed to be. And it's not like it has a memory and it goes back to the thickness it was when it was originally in the packaging. So, so if you've got hands that go kind of numb or if you've purposely bought thicker bar tape because you like that feeling, maybe reusing bar tape's not for you or you can do everything you can to just try and not pull too much tension on it. Of course, that introduces its own problems because if you don't pull hard enough on bar tape, it tends to kinda come unraveled or peel itself away as you ride it. So yeah, if you're looking for that like brand new bar tape feeling, then, well. <laughs> but for those of us who don't like to see things go to waste, definitely do not throw out your bar tape that you might remove from any bike. Roll it up better than I had this. Typically I'll roll it up and put it in a toolbox or somewhere that I know it'll be clean and safe so that it doesn't get ruined for later. And that's that for this quick Tinker Tuesday. Reusing bar tape that uh, otherwise someone may have thrown out. Name, name anybody else who can take a 30 second subject and make it this long.